We are going to be performing with one of them. For the very last time, the great dragon Khoran. For the very, 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 very last time. It will be the great dragon Khoran's last outing. Uh, before he's retired. Why, he's the second monster I ever made, which means he's got a bit old and a bit kind of single tooth in the bottom of the jaw. You're all too kind to notice. He's in my old dragon. So, I think so. Yes, I'm beginning to get there. Yeah, that'll do. I probably don't need to have the mic anymore. Goodbye, Mike. Thank God for that. And now you'll get me on my real voice. There was once a village that was absolutely ideal. You see, this was a while ago, and that village was near a hill, next to some water, near a forest. And the forest was full of trees, and the water burbled and gurgled all the time. The fields were fertile. What could go wrong? What kind of people wouldn't be happy in a village like that? But I hate to tell you, all the villagers, if you had met one, you would have thought they were all such cross patches. Oh, they're so angry all the time. You see, the problem was the forest. In the forest, there lived lions and tigers and bears. Uh-oh. And there lived flaming flying squids and Tyrannosaurus rexes. And pterodactyls and monsters so vile, so disgusting, he never gave them a And that meant none of the villagers dared ever, 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 ever to go into the woods. And without wood, they couldn't eat their homes. And they were all so, so, so cold. But my villagers, my villagers had one great consolation. Do you know what cheers us up, shirts us? Things can't get worse. They're as bad as they can be. They can't get any worse. But one way or other in this world of ours, you have to be careful what you wish for. One day, one of the villagers noticed up there on the high hill, there was a dot, and the dot was coming closer towards them and coming closer towards them and coming closer towards them ah! Ah! and they could see after two days it was a great green dragon and on the third day the dragon flew into the village right into the middle of the marketplace. It lay down and it said, I am the great dragon, Kora. And I have flown from heaven because I am tired and I am hungry. And now I'm going to go to sleep. And in the morning, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to eat one and I'm gonna carry on eating you, one by one by one by one by one, until I'm full, and there's none of you left. <laughs> well, the drag, it was very clear to the villagers what they had to do. How dare he, how dare he, they said, meeting in their meeting place. How dare he come to the village and say he's gonna eat us one by one. Oh, does that dragon sink? He is crar indeed. So they got together their axes, their pickle, their bill hooks. They got together their swords, their rusty shears, and they got formed a mob. And they got ready to go and beat the living daylight out of that dragon. We'll send him back to heaven. We'll show him what's for. But as they came up, the great dragon Karar opened one of its great eyes and it let out a great <laughs> Hello! Do you want anything? It said. 
and the villagers looked at it and its teeth shot out and gone longer. And the villagers said, are you having a nice sleep? I hope everything's all right. Don't worry, we'll feed thee in the morning. They went back to their communal huts where they were discussing. And it became obvious to them what they were going to have to do. I'll tell you what we'll do. We should have thought of it before. We'll escape. We'll all get our few possessions and we'll go. We'll run away. That'll be all all right. We'll miss our own. It was a bit cold here. So they all packed their few possessions and they got ready to go. But just as they were getting ready to go, a great voice rang out from the village. Just in case you think you can escape. Do remember I can smell you for a thousand years. I will hunt you down one by one by one. <laughs> and so all the villagers, they went back to the communal hut and they all started rowing about who was going to be eaten first. But just at the middle of the row, a little old man, the kind of little old man who must have been in the village all his life although nobody could quite remember his face. But they were sure he lived at the hut at the end. He came shuffling in and said, I'll tell you what, stop rowing in the middle of the night. Why don't we all go to bed? And in the morning we'll have a new idea. That's what I'm going to do. And he shuffled. Right old man, he shuffled. He shuffled back to his hut and went to sleep. And in the morning, he came back and he said, follow me, I have an idea. And he went to the great dragon Kra. And the great dragon Kra had just woken up and he said, all right, who's going to be eaten first? Is it you? Oh, it's you, little old man. All right, I'm very kind. Let's get this grizzled thing over with. Give me your head and I'll eat you. But the little old man, he said, oh no, I've got a much better idea. Why don't you follow me? And he led the dragon up to the hill. And from the hill, you could see the forest. Do you remember what was in the forest? There was, anybody remember? There was lions, there was tigers, there were bears. Uh oh, there was Tyrannosaurus rexes, there were flight <laughs> Dragures, there were pterodactyls. There were monsters so scary, so terrifying, so big. Nobody yeah, ever given them names. And the old man said, don't they look finer for a dragon to eat than a few scrawny villagers? And the great dragon Kra said, yum, yum. Yum, yum. And he disappeared into the forest. And for three days, nobody heard anything from him. All they heard was the occasional, as of a monster that had just been caught, followed by a... <laughs> and at the end of three days, the great dragon Kra waddled. There is no other word for it. He waddled into the centre of the village and he said, My, my! I'm absolutely full of monsters! Oh, I couldn't eat a villager now. I'm not going to eat a thousand years. And he fell asleep. And the old man, he got them to put lanterns on the great dragon. And when the dragon woke up, <laughs> he laughed to see the lanterns. And the old man got on his back and they rode off to heaven. And men said it after you, that old man was the god of justice. And that he still rides the great dragon craft to this day. And that is why, in certain places in the world, at New Year, they light lanterns and build dragons. Thank you. So, let me hear it for Kra. Kra is my oldest monster. He is about ten. Thank you. This is his last story. He's going to monster retirement home. Do another scary or another funny?